Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the fourth part on making this window arch frame. And I was doing it last night, and I was having to do a lot of cutting with the virtual segment delete key. And one of my viewers or subscribers suggested go ahead and do the cutting, and it does make a lot of sense. And then group those three pieces together, control D and make a duplicate, and then mirror them. Now you could probably go by and figure out what the dimension is, but get your crosshair and just move them over to, and for the video that's probably close enough. I'll tell you what, let's set our nudge factor on real low, 0 0.001. Let's zoom in here and let's move this over just a hair. And because they're an arch, they're a little bit different then you've got all these already cut so it's going to save you a lot of cutting you can actually cut this line that line that line these four lines instead of cutting all the lines you're um, you've already cut most of the lines when you're duplicating it it's not going to save a, like a world of help but then you can just cut these lines And then let's see if we color fill it if we got any leaks. Because that way you've already got these lines down here cut. Then let's get our smart fill tool and fill it in. And there you have it. So I thank him for suggesting that. It did help a little bit. And it also, you grouped them together and you only had to move one item. I was moving each individual arch over at a time. And then this way they're maybe a little bit more symmetrical. But anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.